The control panel of a laser machine is something you deal with almost every day. What should a CNC laser machine control be like? Simple and intuitive, easy to use, and most importantly, reliable. In this video, we take a closer look at the Watson Metal Laser Machine Control. The remote control is protected from dust and moisture, and the buttons are completely sealed. A silicone cover protects the body of the device from drops or shocks. Of course, this is no Nokia 3310, so you should probably avoid hammering nails with this remote. But it does protect against accidental impacts. The silicone is non-slip, so the remote is secure in your hand, and you don't have to worry about it slipping off a horizontal surface if you leave it unattended. It is also magnetic, so you can even attach it vertically, directly to the body of the machine. The remote control has 32 buttons. At the top are the most commonly used. Press Start, and the machine starts the control program. Pause pauses the process, and Stop stops it completely. Dry Cut starts the control program without the laser light. In other words, essentially idle. This is very practical and useful when you are cutting a complex geometric part and need to determine if it will fit in a certain area of the sheet. For example, if there is a small piece left over. The dry cut button is located between the pause and stop buttons, so you don't accidentally press the wrong one. Blow is used to check for leaks in the gas line and also to blow any dust from the nozzle before use. This function also helps to release any gas remaining in the gas line after work by releasing the pressure. The next button, Follow, lowers the working head to the material. Make sure that the material is exactly under the nozzle. Otherwise, the head may hit the blades and damage the nozzle or the working head. The shutter button switches the machine's laser source on and off. The aiming button switches the laser pointer on and off, allowing the laser head to be positioned correctly. You can also see directly where the work is being done when using the dry cut function. The PT lock function is needed if you need to return to the cutting point after accidentally pressing stop instead of pause during a program. Note that if you move the working head after stop, PT lock will not work. To run the control program in steps forward or backward, press back or forward respectively. The step size is programmable and can be set to 1 mm, 20 mm, or 200 mm. The next button, Laser, produces a single laser pulse. This is useful when aligning or checking the laser machine. For example, if you want to check the alignment of the beam. The next six buttons are command buttons, and that's what we really like about this remote. You can assign almost any action to any of the buttons. For example, changing tables if the machine is equipped with this function moving to a specific point in the working area for convenient material change at the end of the control program, clamping jaws if the machine is equipped with a pipe cutter unit, and other functions. You can assign a command to these buttons via SIP config. You have to click wireless pendant on the left. You will see this particular remote control on the screen, and here you can simply right-click on any button and assign the desired command to it including commands that require pressing other buttons, such as function or fast. Be careful, you can change the settings for all the buttons, not just the command buttons. The edge seek function is also used to identify the position of the sheet on the work area. For safety reasons, this key is operated by pressing the function key at the same time as the process of identifying the position of the material on the working area occurs at high speed. The zero button also works in the same way, i.e. it can be reset to zero by pressing it together with a function button. The X and Y axes are moved by pressing the arrows. The left and right arrows are for the X axis, and the up and down arrows are for the Y axis. If you press and hold the fast key before using these keys, the machine will move much faster. 
The speed can also be set in the software. The two W buttons are for controlling the rotary axis. The Z buttons are for adjusting the position of the working head on the Z axis. This one for up and this one, as you might have guessed, for down. The fast key is also relevant to both W and Z. The frame button shows the boundaries of the layout you are working with. The step button is the opposite of the fast button and is used to move gently in steps. For example, if you want to position the working head at a particular point before starting work. This function can also be used by pressing and holding and then using the arrows to move the X and Y axes. The step size can be set in the software. If you still have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we will be happy to answer them. You can also get an online consultation with a demonstration of our equipment. We at Watson have been designing and building CNC laser machines since 2003. We have something to show you. Thank you for your attention and see you in the new videos.